to Yosemite meat <coughs> processing plant and observed, smelled, touched, felt, uh, so we can make a relatively educated decision. We are going to turn a little bit of time over to these gentlemen. On February 20th, the four of us went down to uh, Modesto to go visit the plant. Within a half mile, there's a fair amount of, uh, of, of homes, of, of a school, uh, golf course, and some others. We really can't build onto that, uh, that facility, so part of the reason why they're looking at here is, or at another facility is because they want to expand. The community is way concerned about the smell. Uh, not only the smell, but also perhaps the impact on the uh, sewer treatment plant. One of the concerns was, well, just how, how clean are these things? Are they going to leave manure and, and whatever on the roads and, and create a problem that way? Uh, we didn't find that was the case, and these plants are federally inspected. Uh, our, our experience while we were inside of the plant was that there was no, uh, at least to me, there was not an offensive smell. It'd be a, similar smell to walking into Erland's Meats or something like that. It's a fresh market. So they process the uh, pork uh, one day, get it cooled down, and run it into, uh, and, and then sell it into the market. We issue them a permit based on an agreement with the company. And what we do is we set parameters that these companies have to adhere to. If a place like Yosemite comes in, Myself, I would strongly suggest to the city council that we require them to have on-site pretreatment. My recommendation to city council that they would be assessed impact fees based on what their impact would be in equivalent residential units. Our purpose is to help create jobs in Utah. We never force jobs on any community, neither does the state. The state will never incent a project that you as a local community do not want. Um, what we do is we facilitate information exchange. So I was very impressed with the company and with their operations. This is the type of company that I would like to see come to Utah. Now, whether you choose to have them come to your community or not, that is your choice. I have shown the Lazy Boy facility um, multiple times to multiple companies. Um, my opinion is that's a facility that we call functionally obsolete. It just does not meet the requirements of current industry. Uh, you're telling me we can handle this pig deal. You can't handle another teacup full because you haven't handled the problem that we've already got. We have a horrible stench coming out of the, of the water treatment plant. Little south wind, I can't go out in my backyard. Stink is in the nose of the beholder. Well, you say it wouldn't offend anyone might not have offended you. Reasonably sure it would offend me. I think the, the economic opportunities that are here have to be weighted with, with what's going to be spent here and what's going to move out. I'm here to say that pigs don't smell. Huh? They stink. <laughs> and if you've got pigs there, they're going to smell. And it's going to hover like a cloud right over the city of Tremont. Tremont brings a pig plant right and a slaughterhouse next to our senior citizen center, yes. and next to the residential area of Tremont, you'll never get another business to come to Tremont. My name's Deloy Makem. I'm the one that takes care of Lazy Boy now and has for the last four and a half years. Lazy Boy needs to sell this facility, and the other guy needs to buy the facility. The primary reason for moving to Tremont was because of the smell that I was uh, three miles downwind from. Miller's uh, processing plant. The processing of the meat plant does not stink. Outside, what they're doing with the uh, waste and uh, the parts that they're not making into uh, cuts of meat, that is the part that does smell. We haven't seen an environmental impact study. We haven't seen a statement. I'd like to know what kind of scrubbers is gonna take the stench from the, the air. Lyle, I know you guys went over there and you had the best of, uh, of intentions when you did so. You went the wrong time of the year. You don't do that in the winter time. The summertime is when the stench will become overbearable. This is Clint Josephson. I run World Away Second Tank and Drain Cleaning, and I know what stink stinks like. And when they wash the trucks out, that goes to the sewer plant too, right? We got to look at both sides of this. One plant hiring employees is that going to be worth chasing business away from this county? 
We've got to develop business somehow. But I don't think this is the answer. Even if they're out unloading uh, pigs inside the building, when it does get hot, they have exhaust fans. And that smells all over the valley. I don't think putting hogs in is going to encourage people to come to Tremont with their businesses so that we can have the town like we used to have. If, if you didn't go to, up on this in the kill facility and stand in the blood pit and see what went on, people aren't being informed. Uh, I mean, you've shown some great pictures of the, the roof and, like I said, the parking lot, but there, there are things that go on in the slaughterhouse that I just don't think that the people that are here would want there. I wouldn't want my children to, to do these jobs. You're offering jobs, you think we're, you know, we're increasing our economy and, and making our this place more marketable. Those aren't the type of jobs I personally think that we need. This is a company that fits in our DNA. It's an agro, agricultural company with an agricultural community. Everybody's worried about illegal in, immigrants. Everybody's worried about race issues. It's beyond that. My encouragement for the council is to investigate this further, come with all the facts, come with all the knowledge, and please make an informed vote based on what you find. This is especially Paul. Everybody look at his face when he opens up. <laughs> there is an odor with death. You will not get rid of it. Once they're in the town, they're never going to leave. I am kind of concerned about property value. We have rights as being pre-existing and our homes being pre-existing to sue. There is more to a slaughterhouse than what meets the eye. We keep talking about Hiram. They're not Hiram. We keep talking about low-wage jobs. They're not low-wage jobs. We're talking and keep talking about gangs and such. What's that got to do with what the company can do? They will make sure that their employees are legal. That's a good boost to Tremont's economy. Is there going to be some smell? Possibly slight. Can I put up with a little steak to bring in millions and millions of dollars? I don't know any of you sitting here that could say that your house wasn't built on a piece of agricultural land. A hog plant, yeah, it's going to have a smell to it, but show me something that isn't going to have a smell to it. You can take that out of that sawdust, out of them trailers, plow it in the fields. We haul manure out on the fields every day. People say it stinks. Yeah, it does. We're an agricultural community, folks. You want to run out everything that's agriculture, then move to New York. We voted you in to represent us. And these people here are saying no. Once they get their foot in, as has been said, they'll be here. And they can do whatever they want in there. So I was trying to keep an open mind tonight, but that just shut it right off. The location is ridiculous. Um, that is not a place in our city to have that kind of a, a facility. Absolutely, we're an agricultural town, but we have a lot of other options. And I think we should have a variety of businesses. I would just plead that you wouldn't make this decision without doing some thorough investigation. And more than that, I would plead you would just say no. I'm a former resident of Modesto. I lived there for nine months. I served a mission there. I do not recall any stench whatsoever. Six companies looked at the waste boy plant, turned it down flat. I think we, uh, we should be grateful that someone's at least looking at it. I hope this happens. I personally do not think this is a good thing. You've got a hospital that's a quarter of a mile away. You've got schools, you've got residential areas that are right up against the fence. We appreciate very much the citizens coming and participating. The council listens, they pay attention, and we want to do best for what is best for the citizens of Tremont.